and welcome to the third videos in a series of three videos. On this last video, I will finish the webhook integrations from GitHub to OpenShift. And the final result will be that uh, when I make changes from BRMS, the changes will be pushed out to GitHub and the webhook that we have configured in GitHub will trigger a new build on OpenShift and we'll have our application change it whenever our uh, file is changing in BRMS. So let's start first with uh, BRMS. I'm going to open the file that I will change here. Uh, this is the file and I'm ch I'll change it hello. It's instead of at your service my master, I would say hello, uh, Retori, you rock. Okay, this is it. Uh, save. My comment I rock because I do and then uh, it's saving the file and it's pushing the change to github let's see if we have the change here we do have the changes I rock so our webhook worked from BRMS to um, to to github which we've, we've seen before and now what we'll do is we will come to uh, github and we'll add my trigger so let's come to the builds and I'll copy the URL for uh, the trigger, which is here, just copied. And let's come to my repo then, and let's add the webhook. Uh, add webhook. This is the URL of my webhook. Hook. It does not require SSL. And webhook add. So again, this will mean that the changes that I make to BRMS, they would trigger a build and deploy on OpenShift. Let's come to BRMS. Uh, make sure that this is the file that I want to open. And I will say instead of you rock, I will say you really rock. Because I really do rock. And I change the file. Uh, let's come to but see if it changes I do really rock and now let's come to OpenShift to my builds and as you can see a build just kicked out here and uh, that build before a change so now the build is happening and as remember we have configured this project to use Maven as a proxy so it's downloaded everything from Maven I, again I really recommend you to do this and now it's going to finish building the project we can come here to my builds and see that we have the builds running. Here we can see the other builds that uh, and how long they took. This we can see this this new build. Uh, if we come to the overview page, we'll see that a new build is running and that we can see the logs. Let's check out the build logs to see how that's coming along. And it has pushed the image and now the next step after pushing the image, you know it's exactly running the pod. And this comes to the uh, webhook trigger, sorry, to the uh, liveness probe which I mentioned uh, before. So now it's uh, it's coming, it's running the process. We can come here to the logs, follow the logs and wait for it to come live. While it does finish bringing the pod, I'll just go over again of what our BRMS rules package is about. It's again, it's a simple rules package that takes a person and whenever the person's name is Retori, it will say you really rock and if the person name it's not Retori, it would say hey you get out of my way and whatever person name that is so this is the full process this is a change from BRMS the file goes to github the webhook trigger that we have configured in github will tell OpenShift to, to issue a new build and OpenShift will build your uh, docker image with the change and then will deploy it Let's come to OpenShift and see if uh, our pod is already in a ready state. Yes, it's in a ready state, so we can test it. I'm gonna use Retori and it should say that I really rock, which says that I really rock. So that's it, uh, our hooks worked. So you can see a, a, a change in BRMS, trigger a new build and deploy on OpenShift. Thank you very much.